Cyrus. Hey, what is up, guys? It's your boy Z, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today's tutorial is based on a Scania R470 2010 to 2013 truck. It looks just like this. If you like what you see, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. So the first ingredients that we need is our block of coal. We're going to follow that up with a grey concrete, then a stone brick slab, some stone slabs, some stone brick stairs, a ladder, a white bed, an item frame, and let's grab one of these blocks of iron. So the first step you do is place your coal block down, leave a three space gap and then place another. Turn around the corner and leave a one, two, three, four, five, and then place your two block coal blocks down. So from the top, that is your spacing. Directly on the front, you're gonna grab your stone slab. You're gonna place one, two, three, four, and five. Right behind that, you're gonna swap out to a stone brick slab. You're gonna place that directly behind the actual tire. And then you're gonna place another one as well. From this bit, you're gonna grab your blocks of iron. You're gonna place them behind the back tires, one and two, just like that. Cool, cool, cool. On the front, you're gonna grab your stone brick stairs and you're gonna place them on the corners facing outways. The gray concrete, we're gonna come up by two, one, two. I'm just gonna fill that in just like so. With your ladders, we're just gonna place our ladders on the front for our grill. And with our item frames, we're gonna to come to the front and we're just gonna place two on the front and then filter a bed through facing the pillows on the inside. I'm just gonna clear my blocks and grab the next set. What we're gonna require is a white concrete, quartz stairs, a sign, oak fence gates, iron trap door, Gonna grab a quartz slab and also grab a dragon head. With your white concrete, we're gonna come up on top of the stairs here and place one either side. And directly behind that, on top, we're gonna to turn around and we're gonna place a stair facing inwards like so. With your stone brick stairs, we're gonna turn them upside down on top of the actual front tire. And we can actually filter that through with white all the way up, like so. With the iron trap doors, we're gonna to come to the edge here of the slab and place one, just like that. Grab yourself a stone brick slab, and we're gonna bring that, and we're gonna filter that all the way through to the end, like so. With our stone brick stairs, we're gonna continue around, and we're going to flip the stair upside down so it's got that kind of wheel arch. Just like that. With your slab, you're gonna place that here, like so, or you can turn that upside down, like so. I like this. With the stone brick stairs, you're gonna turn these upside down and run them like so. And these three blocks, you can knock out and replace them with slabs. On top of the corner piece, you're gonna place your stair facing inwards like so. And 
and then back to a concrete block right here. With your quartz stairs, you're going to place them on top of the corner stair. And then you're going to filter through a white concrete one and two. From this point, you're going to come across by placing another one. And with your stairs, you can turn them upside down like so. Beautiful. From this point, what we're going to do is we're going to change out our trap door. We're going to get ourselves a block of black glass. And on the front, we're just going to run them right across the front like that. So you've got that kind of look happening. With your white concrete, you're just going to place one, two, and three on the front. On the back here, with your white concrete, one and two, one and two. And you can change into your quartz stairs and then place that like so. With your gray concrete, you can come around to the back and filter in one, two, and three, like so. And if you don't like this bit here, you can knock that out and we can swap that back so it's all nice and flat. On the front here, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our stairs, we're going to place one on the corner, and we're going to turn them around. Just like that. One on the back of the windows. And filter through slabs. Then we're going to lift up with a white concrete by two, either side. And from here, we grab our quartz stairs and turn them upside down. It's going to give you that kind of opening towards the top. From this point, we're going to grab our slabs and place a line of slabs on the back of the cabin and filter the last three across the top. Around the back, we are going to grab our dragon head and we are going to place that right here. So like the battery pack. Replacing the dragon head going to grab ourselves a andesite wall and some iron bars. The andesite wall you're going to come up by two next to the actual battery and place one iron bar. I'm going to come up by two, one and two. Beautiful. With our block of iron, we're going to grab one of them, place that directly next to the actual battery. And with your oak fence, one, two, three, four, and five, and poke in the middle one. Now we're going to grab some item frames. We're going to come around to the front, tires, back tires, on the back of the tires, on the tires, like so. And then we're going to swap that out and we're going to grab a lever, some redstone dust, a wither skull. A barrier block, a red bed, and I think we will go for a button. Yeah, 
with your buttons. We're going to come to the actual tire and we're going to place in our buttons for our hubcaps. And around the back here, we're going to put in a bed and once again, put the white pillows on the inside. Back around to our buttons, place our buttons in like so. With our lever, we're going to come here and place a lever facing down just above the iron block. With a button, we're going to place a button in the middle. Swap out the button and we're going to come to the front here. Place a button for extra detail for our indicators. And up against the back of the window, we're going to place one as well. With your barrier block, you're going to place that directly on the side of this block here. And with your weather skulls, you're going to look at the barrier block and place them on an angle. Grab into your lever, knock out the barrier block, and just put a lever on the edge to hold up your side mirrors. With your item frames, you're going to come to the front. You're going to put one after the second block. Leave a space, place another. With your white concrete or snowballs and place one on the front. Coming down the back, we are going to go and grab ourselves an anvil. Where's the anvil at? Where's the anvil at? I haven't got an anvil. We'll go and grab one from here. With your anvil, we're going to come back to the back of the truck, leave a space and place one. Then with your redstone dust connecting to the battery, we're just going to connect it up. With your iron bars, you're going to place that on top of the iron blocks. And come towards the back, knock out the corner of the slabs and replace them with iron trapdoors. From this point, we shall go and grab ourselves some stone slabs and a stone pressure plate and place the stone pressure plate directly behind the anvil and the stone slabs either side of that anvil. From this point we're going to grab some signs and on the front you place your number plate. I'm just going to put Scania R4 seven zero and I'm just going to put Zyridius 2010 to 2013. From here, we're going to come behind the tire, place a sign and two on the gas tanks and one on the iron trap door. So two on the gas tanks one on the iron trap door, leave a space and one behind the tire. Now you can leave it off with a number plate guys if you choose. For me, I'm gonna knock that out and I'm gonna place one here and I'm just gonna put Zyridius, just like so. And that's looking, looking good. From this point, you can grab yourself some light gray concrete. If you want to change up the color, you can place that three at the back, gives you that kind of two-tone effect. Right on the front here with our signs again, place one, two, and three across the top. Beautiful. 
here as well. Just going to cover up the lights by adding in our signs. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is the Scania R470 truck. Not bad, not bad. Anyway, guys, that is the tutorial for today. If you like, be sure to rate, comment, subscribe for more videos.